Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. So yeah, I've been wanting this forever and I um, actually kindly sent it, so thank you so much. Um, and this is in the shade Y335 or 127. Okay, so this is just basically um, the Ultra HD liquid foundation but in a stick form. This is what the liquid one looks like and then I'm pretty sure you have probably all saw this but it just looks like this. Um, and then when you open it it's got a little case on it, like a little cover for it and mine's as I said is in Y335 which is quite a tan colour. Read out what um, it's meant to do. So on the website you can get this from Debenhams if you live in the UK, which is th it's tw £29 and you get 45 grams of it. This is meant to create a, flaw a flawless complexion on camera and I actually kind of agree with it. It's kind of like looks better on camera as well, like not, it obviously looks the same on in real life but it's coming across really nice on camera. It provides medium to full coverage, which I really agree with, like literally. I've already talked about it a million times, but it covered all my redness on one coat and then I went on another one and it covered it completely, so which is really good because I struggle with that sometimes, try to get it to cover. It leaves a natural looking radiant finish. Um, for me, I have dry skin, so it didn't really leave a radiant finish, but I did see like a little bit of dewiness. I've obviously got a lot of highlight on, but it could, I was quite worried because it did look really, really matte. Um, but I did powder my full face and baked under the eyes, so maybe that was probably it. But if you have dry skin, I would just recommend just like, um, putting powder over your like, concealer and not like your full face. So that's all it says. Um, this is obviously it with me with the foundation on. I really, really like this foundation. You can stay till the end and I'll go in more detail. And as I say at the end, down in the description, I will um, update you on how it wears throughout the day and creasing or at my laugh lines and things. So you can just go check out the description. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. Um, and hopefully you will this would be okay to review it. Let me know if you want to see more reviews. Like this is my first one. I'm not really that good at describing things. But hopefully I was okay in this video. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. So I'm going to be using this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Which just looks like this, if you can see that. Um, and I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation obviously in Y335. Um, I think this might be a wee bit off on the colour because I have just put on tan so sorry about my hands. I don't really know how to like apply this for now and kind of go with it and hopefully this goes okay. I'm just going to do three. I saw someone did like this and then I'm just going to put it on my nose, my forehead and yeah, hopefully that's okay. I can always go back in. So it literally feels like I'm blending nothing. Um, it feels really light on the skin. It covered up. Um, most of my redness um as you can see um so yeah it's like medium covered the color is quite pale but i can always make it darker by bronzer and everything As you can see, it's covered all my redness and things. Um, literally feels like I'm wearing nothing. I'm going to adjust the brightness actually. Okay, so hopefully that is better. Um, as you can see, it looks really, really, really 
natural. Um, obviously you can tell it's foundation but um, it's quite a matte kind of finish so with another layer just to see how it builds. So it can definitely build up to like full coverage. Obviously it doesn't look that great than I because I've not like got concealer on or anything. Um, and I've not put it under my eyes so there's like darkness there. I'm really impressed like the liquid foundation usually doesn't cover all my redness whereas this covered it all in one layer. Um, yeah and re my redness is quite like hard to cover like I don't see like there is a few cut like it would need to be like full coverage to cover it so I'm really impressed. Um, as I said, it is quite pale, like my hands are like the darkest part because it doesn't really wash off. But obviously I can make it like more tanned why with bronzer and things. Um, and yeah, I will come back to you and give you a more in-depth review um, once I have done all my makeup, finished off. And yeah. Okay, so I've now done all my makeup. I did like a full face of makeup because I'm going out after this. Yeah, I don't know why I'm using my hands so much. I'm gonna be now telling you how I felt about the product and if it was easy to like apply other products over it. So yeah, first thing is it is very full coverage. Um, what we covered like a struggle sometimes trying to cover my redness on my cheek I have quite a lot and it's kind of like from here to like all the way around and um, yeah that can be quite a problem to cover. That covered it really easily just with one coat, coat. and then I went in with another one which covered it basically full. Um, the thing is it is very matte sometimes. Um, I've put highlight and everything on it so it's okay now but I feel as if like sometimes because I have dry skin, um, I can like I kind of sometimes my foundation goes too matte. But this happens with like sometimes I've got like really dewy skin, um, with the same foundation. Then the next day it could be really matte. I think I did I did um, go ahead and like baked under my eyes and then powdered the rest of my face, which I don't normally do and I don't really know why I done it. But I think I shouldn't do that because it does can go really matte. So if you have dry skin, then maybe you shouldn't like powder your full face. Um, it is, as I said, it's very like it's really really light. When I was blending it out to start with, I feel as if I was just like putting a brush on my face. I didn't feel as if I was like blending anything, which is was felt really weird. But it was all oh, like good. Like I feel as if I'm not wearing any makeup at all apart from these lashes because they're hurting me. Ouch. I'm gonna adjust this. Like my camera struggle to like sometimes it's too bright and sometimes it's too dark. I'm gonna didn't mean to clap there. I'm gonna try and adjust it so you can see. I'll do an overview of all the foundation and everything. Hopefully you can see it. And I've put a lot of highlight on today. Um, <laughs> As you can see, it covered all my redness, 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 probably like 95% it covered. Um, as you can see, I put a lot of highlight on, as usual, I always do it. Um, but I'm really liking the foundation. I wasn't sure how I felt about it at first. I'm going to zoom you out if you're too close. I wasn't sure how I felt about it at first. I was like, oh no, I don't like this. But then I like finished like putting my lashes on. Put bottom I mascara on my bottom lashes, put lipstick on, and then I was like, okay, I quite like this now. Um, so yeah, I would say I recommend this. I'd probably give like an eight out of ten. It's ha higher coverage than the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, like liquid foundation. Um, so this is the one I was using, and provides medium to full coverage while looking flawless and natural. If I had minimum makeup on I would say this would probably look natural because it did just like yeah it would before I'd had like any of my like highlight on or anything it did look really natural. 
Um, so I would agree with this, but obviously now that I've got like uh, loads of bronzer on and things like that, um, obviously it doesn't look as natural. It does say that it's great for all skin types, like dry. Um, as I said, if you have dry skin, I wouldn't powder all your face. Um, just like powder under your eyes and set your concealer, but don't powder all over your face because it could look a wee bit dry or too matte, and I don't really like too matte, but I think it looks fine. I'm not going to be doing a uh, like how it wears throughout the day, but if you check the description, I will update you and write what um, how I felt and how did it last because I need to go out. Like I'm not staying in. If I was staying in, I'd be like, oh, this is it now at four o'clock or whatever but right now it is 3 41 and i'm going out at well like quarter two 20 to five so um hopefully it lasts the film night i'm i'm probably sure it will um hopefully if it doesn't i'll probably cry and um i also tell you about my laugh lines i get really 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 bad laugh lines um, but i always bake them but it doesn't always work so I'll tell you, I'll let you know how that, if it like creases at my laugh lines and things like that. Just check the description to check like an update on everything, like how it wore, how like creasing and things like that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe down below. Leave a comment on what you would like to see from me. I might be filming a makeup collection soon. Um, give this a thumbs up if you want to see a makeup collection and yeah thanks so much for watching and yeah bye